How's it going everybody? This is Dave LeClaire with MakeUseOf.com and today we are here to look at the Rocket Sova, which is the lap board to buy if you're looking to get into PC gaming on the couch and you don't want to use a controller. Because let's face it, there are some games that just can't be played with a controller comfortably. If you're trying to play a game like Dota 2, World of Warcraft, Civilization, those games are not meant to be played with a controller and adapting them to a controller is just an unpleasant experience. That is where devices like the Sova come into play. And today we're going to take a look at all the different features that it offers and we are going to break down why it is the device to buy if you want to play PC games on the couch. So first let's start out with the core design of the Sova. It's a pretty big device, it'll fit nicely on your lap, but it is a little on the wide side which it has to be in order to facilitate playing PC games. You need room to move the mouse around and you need a full keyboard. Now, it doesn't have a number pad which lets them squish the size down a little bit, but it does have a nice large wrist support which is key. I personally found that with the other devices that we tested, that not having the ability to rest my hands comfortably on something made it just feel a little weird. Yes, I say it's not ergonomic to use a wrist support, but let's be honest, when you use a keyboard at your desk, it has that wrist bar, your wrists are not pointed down, they're pointed straight out. And this delivers a more experience that is closer to that. It's obviously not gonna be the same as sitting on a desk because you are using your lap which moves around, but it is pretty close. Speaking of your lap moving around, the issue you're gonna run into there is that the mouse moves. Now it does have a little channel that you run the mouse cable through and a clip that holds the mouse cable to keep it from moving too much, but the fact that your legs are tilted and not perfectly flat is going to cause some movement when you take your hand off the mouse. So if you go to use two hands to type something, the mouse is gonna slide down the mouse mat. And that becomes a little more of a problem because they used a hard, smooth surface instead of a cloth, grippier surface. Personally, I prefer to move the mouse around on a cloth surface. I like that little extra grip, but that's because I play more tactical games. If you play shooters, the extra speed from a hard surface is actually beneficial. So that's gonna depend on your preferences, but I think that with the Sova being on your lap, and with the mouse moving around when you don't want it to, would have been better to go with a cloth surface. Now they do have the ability to pop the mouse mat and the wrist support off to replace those, but there are no replacements currently available on their website. So yes, you could take them off to clean them, which is a nice feature to have, but it would be nice to actually have some options. For example, if I wanted a padded wrist support instead of the basic one, I would like to be able to get that. If I wanted to get a different mouse surface, that would be nice. When you're talking about PC gaming, a lot of times, PC gamers tend to be very particular with what they like. They like a certain mouse surface, a certain feel. It would be nice to be able to get that. And speaking of mice, there is no mouse included with the Sova, so you will have to use your own. The keyboard is all in there. For our testing, we use the membrane model, but for a more expensive version, you can get the mechanical keys. Either way, you will have to provide your own mouse, which you could take as a positive if you already have a mouse that you like, or if there's a certain mouse that you wanna use and you don't wanna use one that comes in the box. Otherwise, you'd just be paying money for a mouse that you may or may not actually want to use. The cable that connects to the computer is extremely long and it features a breakaway design. So that way, if somebody were to trip over it, instead of yanking your computer off your entertainment stand, it's gonna disconnect the cable and it's going to work much better. You're not gonna break the keyboard and you're not gonna break your computer, which would be very, very unfortunate. I have two dogs running around my house all the time. So when I'm trying to play games with a wired anything, they're constantly tripping up in there because they're both a bunch of crazy dogs and that's what they do. Now, the reason they didn't go with wireless is because you get extra performance from a wired keyboard. It's faster, there's less input lag, which is very important if you're playing any type of high speed games like shooters where that's really gonna make a difference. If you're playing Civ, you don't really care, but if you're playing Counter-Strike Go, you do. So it's nice to have the wired keyboard there. Though it would be cool if there was some type of wireless option available, maybe a dongle you could get that would make it support wireless. But because they're aiming at performance, they just went with the wired option and at least the wire is long enough that it will fit across most living rooms without any issue. As far as comfort goes, there's four pads on the bottom that are removable. You remove those in order to get at the mouse mat, which is also, as mentioned, removable. They're quite soft. They're a nice gel material. They feel very comfortable. They're not overly thick, which I was afraid of. They don't. When you sit it on your lap, you don't feel like you have pillows on your legs. You feel just like you have something soft, but not too big. So I like that. They're definitely very comfortable. Um, the only issue I had was sitting on a recliner. I guess I don't have a particularly wide recliner, but it's smushed a little bit up against the arms of the recliner. So that is something to keep in mind. 
if, if you're playing on a couch where you have wide space, that's not gonna be an issue. It'll only be an issue if you're on a smaller chair. It still worked for me. I was able to kind of push the arms to the side and squeeze it in. But if my chair was even an inch narrower, it would be sitting up too high because it would have to rest on the arms instead of my legs and that wouldn't be comfortable. So that's something to keep in mind. Make sure to check out the dimensions which you'll find in the full written review linked to down below and measure your chair to make sure that this is gonna fit before you go out and spend like $150 on one. So with all that said, the Sova is the best lap board on the market. It blows away Razor's model, which is just too small, and it blows away Corsair's model, which is just too wide to be used in most situations. It fits right in the middle. It's just the right price for what it offers, though at $150, it would be nice to see a mouse included in the box. I do understand their choice to not include one if that is really keeping costs down. But at this price, it would be nice. But with the breakaway cable, the comfortable pads, the removable mouse surface, the nice feeling keys, even on the membrane based model, you really can't go wrong with this device. So if you are looking to get into the world of PC gaming on the couch, I can say with 100% certainty that this is the model to buy. Once again, this is Dave LeClaire with MakeUseOf.com. Make sure to head over to the site to enter to win one of these, and we will see you guys next time.